up guys welcome to boxing block center the home of nigerian fm and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now let's just go straight to that station jang jilei was at the ajagba was present at the ajagba uh good haul fight uh it looks like even uh, the commentator said uh, that John Jilei could be next and Ajaba was asked who do you want to fight next Ajaba said he's ready for everyone and everybody while his trainer said yeah they will have to go back to the drain board and look at the possible op opposition they may face but John Jilei is there I don't think he came there just to watch the fight he came there for a purpose. Janjali is looking for a fight right now. Ah, Jack but Janjali, that would be something of or the monster book. When two monsters meet, you know what usually happens. It's like one has to go down. Janjali, he has a whole lot of things to throw at Jabba with that Jabba needs to work on. But Jabba should not change himself because in this fight, he came in a little bit slim um from like an, uh, a cool cruiser weight in a way he needs to come in he needs to come in strong like he like he like he was i mean that is what really made a job a job but i understand why they did it for mobility you know for quick transition and and throwing punches on different angle moving out the way yeah i think it did help in a way i don't know will have to tell us that but this fight right here potential fight is huge what do you guys make of this right here let's go about on yet i do wally to give a stake on this potential fight match up between john jilei and so um i i didn't watch the fight man i didn't get to watch the fight so i was just enjoying you guys break it down to be honest and yeah yeah, yeah. what do you that. make of the push of barbara between ajabba and janjali janjali was present at the event oh so um did janjali sit down by the ring side and then step into the ring after no, he, didn't, he didn't step into the ring he was at the ring he was at the ring ring side it was, it was but the commentators were saying like that that could be nest and j prince usually doesn't attend fights like that he was there it means something is getting made wow. oh. made very soon. Man, that's that's highly interesting, man. That's very, very interesting. Big step up fight for Ife and Jabba. But um he can do it, man. I'm rooting for Ife, so yes, uh, sounds a little bit biased. I feel like Ife could beat Zhang. Um yeah, I can't really tell what areas which in my opinion you would need to work on because i haven't i didn't watch the most recent fights but he can do it man and a time has to come when he has to step up in his career and start getting the big names once he gets past a name like shang then he would be a real con contender for the you know for the top guys in the division so yeah it's a good matchup yeah man yeah so i think that i think ajaba does well against um um against short paul i know he does well i know from his fighting stance the way he throws his punches his transition angle i know he does that i know he does he would do he would do well it's just that judge lee is a different breed of a short paul with tremendous power and precision quickness if he catches you you feel it because he punches very hard as well ajagba also very also punch very hard um i was a little bit surprised that good hall took a lot of ajagba right hand you know i think it has to do with the weight or something like that but ajagba still hits very hard you know and it would uh good hall um i mean many times before you got out of there so Ajagwe, your take on this potential clash between uh good hall um between Janjali and uh uh 
hey, like I um I think this fight is going to be a good fight if it gets made. Um it's going to be a listen. It's going to be a hard fight, but it's only as hard as if your Jabba decides how hard he wants to make that fight. Like I said, if your Jabba is athletic enough to be able to, you know, do things to 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 get Zhang of guard is able to do these things but if he does it if they don't if FA's team doesn't implement a good game plan which is always needed in these type of fights especially in these in this important fight you always got to come in there with a game plan on what you're going to do you can't just come in there and just tell FA Java to go in there and go work Yeah, there must be a game plan for for what you're going to do Zhang. Is it you're going to go from, you're going to go to the body, you know, from round 1 to round 5, you know, which I think should be a should be should be good. Should should be something that he should be doing. Round 1 to round 5 and then just go from there, you know, cuz once you go to the body, you know, he's going to lower the head and then the head will be easier to catch and now you're in a now you're more of a you should be in the mid range where you're fighting and you'll be able to take be able to hit him and hurt him. But if you don't go in there and just tell Efe Jabba to go do what he got to do, there's nothing could be done, right? Now I think Efe Jabba has all he he definitely has the rim jump shape, he definitely has the IQ, he definitely has everything that he needs. But if he doesn't if he doesn't if he doesn't have a good game plan on what to do, it's all going to fall apart and the uh, uh, 40-year-old Zhang is going to come and take Efe Jabba apart. Especially uh, 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 Zhang when he loads up on that hook. And especially when he goes up on that left hook, forget he's a softball. He's a very dangerous one, and he could do damage. You know, um, uh, uh, the the things I'm worried about. You know, if a job needs to come in slightly, so uh, needs to, to make sure his stamp, his, his endurance stamina, and everything is up. Make sure he needs to build. Zang is probably going to come in at weighing at least 260, 270. You know, seeing that 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 worked for him. Fine, that'll work for him. But you know. If he's got to really outwork Zhang, man, he's really got to outwork him and make him punish him, make him work, get him tired and beat the hell out of him from there. You know, make sure if a job comes in the right amount of weight, you can't come in too low. 230, 240, you know, it's kind of low. If a job probably doesn't the punch, the punch, the punch stats that he has, the probably doesn't he doesn't have that anymore because his weight is too low. You know, But that's just my opinion, you know. Like I said, I, I believe they they must come with a good game plan to beat Zhang. Right now, Zhang is on top of the world. He feels nobody could touch him. He's good. Yeah, whatever. You know, let FA Jao come show them. Like, hey, I'm still here, man. I'm, I still got it. I like the FA I saw today. I want to see that FA Jao plus more versus Zhang, man. Simple as that. Thanks, but I appreciate taking on this, guys. You ready for my brothers? Jagbu and Diwali. Like I said, we'll, we'll return later to talk about um, the Francis are going to return to boxing or to fighting in December. Riyadh. Derek Del Boy Chizora wants the fight and is be- basically begging for the fight. Chizora should retire, bro. I mean, Ngano will probably do a lot of damage to that guy. Too much damage, bro. I don't want to see a, a legend like that. Well, I don't want. Uh, it's just a legend of the sport. We have to keep it, keep it real. He's a he's a legend of the sport. By the way, that's another topic. That's a topic for for later. We'll be back right back. God bless you all, guys. Cheers. <laughs>